Part two, Kemi Talks Music. I'm Dr. Kemi, Nigerian music journalist. I've been a music journalist since 1998 on September 27th. So today will be like, yesterday will be like 25 years. Um, as a journalist, a total of 30 years in February of 2024. So I spent 25 years side by side with other beats in journalism, but music was the one I was known for in North America. In the Nigerian music business, there are some differences in the North American music business because in the US and Canada, I was mostly involved with hip hop and R&B, but in Nigeria, it was mostly hip hop, which faded a long time and was taken over by Afrobeat. As Afrobeat artists came out, more and more came out and the Afrobeats with the S at the end now developed. Now, Fela's children always say that. Auntie Yemi C. Kuti said that at the seminar or celebration in 2019 that there is a difference. Their father did Afrobeat, and you young people are doing Afrobeats. So it's actually two genres with an S at the end of one and without an S. The difference, not much. Most of these artists want to go global. That's the whole essence of this music business. If you're a music artist and you just want to be the local champion, they'll know your music in the street below, down there, in the supermarket. It doesn't pay. We're in a digital era where we have streaming portals and download portals, iTunes, Amazon Music, Google Play Music. We have Apple Music, Spotify, Teaser, Audio Mac, Boom Play. So when people stream your music, you make money. I promised my fans that I'll do a music seminar, but it's very hard for me to get time to do it. I even told them I'll do it live. I did an extensive write-up yesterday, but I'm going to do it on these videos. That way you can watch them over and over at your time and your leisure. The music business is not for everybody. And we're going to start the entire seminar in part three. It is a very expensive venture. It is a venture where you might have to work with people you don't know or have nothing to do with in the past, but you have to work with them. Think well before you dive into the music business. And I will tell you about Davido in a few minutes, because some of you don't know Davido until you really grew up. Davido has been doing music since almost 2010. In fact, it was creeping into it like 2009, but it was 2013 that really made him you know, prominent, 2012, 2013, he had established. But before then, Davido was signed by a label and he had problems over there. So because he had signed a contract, he couldn't get out of it. And his father, a billionaire, oil billionaire, had to buy out his contract. So the father said, look, how much is left in the contract? Take the money, release my son. Davido now then formed DMW, Davido Music World, his own label. And the rest is history. Be careful before you sign. There's a lot of things going on that you need to know. And I'm going to give you most of this music seminar videos as a music PR person. Because I do have a second degree, public relations. And my public relations degree is what factors in here. I have done music publicity for a lot of people. Nicki Minaj, we did her Canadian concert, Britney Spears. Um, Sean Kingston, Whiskey came to Canada too, we did that one a lot. And a job of a music publicist is to put you on all the red carpets when there's an award show, get you in the shows, get you on media front lines. In other words, like when Whiskey came, I booked him on MTV Canada, even though they didn't make it on time to New York, there's a lot of stories behind that. So we get you all this media attention you need, okay? And when I was doing this, I had a seven-year-old with me. Now he's 23, and Rich KJT started music because he followed me to work a lot and saw a lot. So I taught him music production. How do you teach someone music production? You must be in the music business, right? No, any broadcaster can teach music production because we're using the same equipment. Okay, waves, audio, mixing, mastering, and all that. So I get a lot of people who call me, message me, they want me to produce something. I'm like, I don't do that commercially. So know how these things work. Part three is coming up. I'm going to talk to independent artists on what you need to know if you want to start promoting and selling your music.